Back in 2014 NBA season, Kendall Marshall was the Lakers starting point guard and averaged 8.8 assists in just 29 minutes per game. Over the course of the season, he had multiple 10 plus assist outings, he had 15 assists, he had 17 assists in a game, but just a year later, he started only 3 games for the Bucks, and just 2 years later, he was gone from basketball. 4 years, 4 teams, and that's it. Hi guys, Purple Prince here, and today we take a look at Kendall Marshall and what happened to his basketball career. Kendall Marshall was a very popular kid back in school. By the age of 12, he already was showered with all types of accolades. Marshall was pegged as the nation's number one fifth grade basketball player. Around that time, he also picked up his nickname, Butter, which was due to his flashy and smooth passing ability. All that hype was carried to Bishop O'Connell High School, where he led the team to a Virginia Independent Division I championship as a senior. After averaging 15.3 points, 9 rebounds and 6 assists as a senior, Marshall was considered a 4-star recruit by ESPN.com and ranked as the number 9 point guard and number 22 basketball player in the nation in 2010. After high school, Marshall committed to North Carolina, where he ended up playing two seasons. During his freshman year, Marshall was more of a bench guy and insurance policy to team starting point guard Larry Drew. But in his sophomore season, Marshall was the starter and never looked back. Kendall Marshall set the all-time University of North Carolina assist record with 351 for the season. He also set the all-time ACC record for assists with 311. For his senior season, Marshall played in 36 games and averaged 8.1 points and 9.8 assists per game. Marshall was named a third-team All-American and won the Bob Cousy Award following the 2012 season. Unfortunately, he would end his college career with an injury. In the second round of NCAA tournament, Marshall was drying for a layup, was fouled, landed hard, and fractured his wrist. He didn't return for a single minute of college basketball and instead entered the NBA draft. His scouting report read, Kendall Marshall is a very talented point guard that is sure to arouse some interest in the first round. If he can add a consistent jump shot, he'll be a quality starter because true floor generals are few and far between. Marshall ended up with the Phoenix Suns, who took him with the 13th pick of the 2012 NBA Draft. Phoenix had just lost Steve Nash and they were looking for some depth at point guard position. And depth it was. For the 2012-2013 season, Phoenix had four point guards on the roster. Their starting point guard was Goran Dragic, and the reserve duties were split between Sebastian Telfair and Kendall Marshall. The logjam at point guard resulted in low playing time. During his rookie season, Marshall played in just 48 games, started three of them, and in 14.6 minutes averaged three points and three assists. Just 16 months into his NBA career, it was already on life support. He had played for three head coaches in Phoenix, all of whom didn't give him playing time. Sun's latest head coach Jeff Hornsek clearly indicated that Marshall needs to develop his jump shot, because right now he's not a threat for opposing teams and that's why he's not getting the minutes. Soon after these statements, Marshall was traded to the Wizards and then waived. He had to continue his career in D-League, but that was a short stint there. On December 20th, 2013, Marshall signed with the Los Angeles Lakers. That was the highest point of his career. He played 54 games for the Lakers, started 45 of those games and in 28 minutes averaged 8 points and 8.8 .8 assists. Multiple great passing games including career-high 17 assists against the Nuggets. He would have been the second best pass in the league for the season, but he didn't reach the necessary amount of games to qualify. But then, another Eskimo on the way. After such a good season and a bunch of claims that he could be the Lakers point guard of the future, Marshall was waived. This decision was a surprise to many. Yes, the Lakers acquired Jeremy Lin, yes, they still had Steve Nash, but Marshall was 22 years old, coming off a great season, an improvement season. Two days later, he was picked up by the Milwaukee Bucks. By the way, the Bucks had seven point guards on their extended roster. Their starter was Brandon Knight. After that it was Michael Carter Williams and Marshall was the forgotten man once again. He played just 28 games before getting injured and having to miss the remainder of the season because of his ACL tear. He was traded back to Phoenix and waived once again. Before the start of the 2015-16 season, Marshall was signed by the 76ers 
and since he was coming back from an injury at the beginning of the season, he was assigned to D-League. For the year, Marshall played 30 games for the Sixers. And here we go again. He was traded to Utah and then waived. That was the last we saw of him in the NBA. He played some games in D-League, but in November 23, 2017, decided to retire from basketball. Kendall Marshall ended his NBA career having played just 160 games and having averages of 19.3 minutes, 5 points and 4.9 assists. After his basketball career was over, Marshall returned to University of North Carolina to finish his studies. He stayed close to basketball and was a student assistant coach by 2019. In October of this year, Marshall was named the UNC Director of Recruiting. One of the best players in the nation as a kid, a legendary college career and just five years of professional basketball. A devastating injury and not enough opportunities. He decided to walk away from the game while still being young and now it seems like he's happy. He always wanted to be a coach and now he has to work his way up to his dream. The most important thing is that he's happy. What do you think was the ultimate reason why Kendall Marshall's NBA career was a wash? Was it because of the lack of opportunity, his unwillingness to take shots or maybe it was his ACL injury? Please leave a comment below with your thoughts about Kendall Marshall's basketball career. Why he didn't succeed in the NBA? As always, please like the video, this time for Kendall Marshall. Share it, subscribe and enable bell notifications. Thank you very much for watching. This is Purple Prince, and I'm out. Bitch, I got that bounce back. All my new jokes ass back. All I drink is.